Welcome back to my channel, everyone. This is your host again, Red Fox, coming back with another uh, series today. I was about to say episode, but no, it's a new series today um, of me playing once again a new um, a new game of CK2. Uh, as you, if you've been keeping up, you probably have noticed that you know my uh, games, uh, my game for Ireland is now over with. So that's kind of what's going on with this now. Um, I'm trying to go with the earliest start date here. I need to go back one. Come on, go back. Come on. Okay, well that's not what I wanted to do, but okay. Anyway, so we're going with the earliest start date here, and we're going to go back up there. Oh, okay. Well, it was already on the earliest start date. Anyway, so now what we are going to do is we are going to play as the King of Pickland. Now, I know that we're going to try all four king. We're going to try to, you know, with all four kingdoms in uh in the British Isles. We've already done Ireland, now we're going to do Scotland. Then I'm going to decide whether I want to do Wales or England next, and we're going to, you know, of course, try to do those. Um we're going to try to do all four kingdoms. That's what we're going to do. We're all going to do them in those uh we're all going to do those first, and then we're going to move on to some other things after that. So anyway, we um, I'm going to start off as the king of king of uh. I'm going to go ahead and delete Ireland since it's over with. Okay, so we're going to start off as king of Pickland. Obviously, it's going to be Scotland. That's the uh, that's what it is. So in the Scotland, I've never actually played played Scotland. I've never actually played it, so this is completely new to me. I find okay, they are the guy is tribal, so that's not a shocker really. Uh, I already have a son, so that's no big deal there. Let's see, he, and he has a son too, so, and he's not married, so we'll just leave it like that. <clears throat> he's 46, he's 25, and he's 9. And we'll go ahead and do that. See how his stats are? His stats are okay. And my stats are mm, not very good. Yeah, not very good at all. That's it's the only really good one. Um, let's go ahead and let's do like, uh, let's go ahead and do prestige because prestige probably is going to be the most helpful. So, let's actually see what do I want for like a capital. We have these provinces which I don't have to worry about as much. Uh, I I really like uh, this one right here, but I'm not going to go for it, probably. Yeah, this is probably the best one just to deal with right now. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade the hill floor, do that right now. What And what's that one? That's Fib. Actually, a really funny name, Fib, as the name of it, but that's that's pretty funny. I'm um, not going to worry about that. not going to worry about this. So unlike the other campaigns, it, we're, we're in a really good spot in the sense that we don't really have to worry about a lot of the, the small things because we don't have to worry about creating a... Uh, you don't have to worry about like creating the the kingdom or anything like that because that's already all done for us. So we're we're pretty good in that sense. Um, I want to go ahead and like fabricate a claim on this uh, on that county right there, so we can start going into Ireland. Ireland's gonna be by far the easiest to go ahead and just take uh, improve religious relations. Obviously, we want to go ahead and do that. Let's get um let's get all the minor titles taken care of. So. We can try and make sure we don't have anybody who's like not happy with us here. Um, uh, that's everything. Cool. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and mark it up. So now the f like the first like 20 or so years are probably gonna be in the first episode, I would imagine, because it's gonna be a lot. Well, depending on how long it takes me to get everything situated that I like, I want to make sure that I have everything the way I want it to be. Uh, there we go. Now let's see here, can we actually take this province? I believe we can. Yeah, we can go ahead and take this, because this guy is going to be pretty weak, yeah. And we actually do have, um, oh, I can call all vassals, because it's tr since we're tribal we can actually call all the vassals, and that's even more troops, so we're going to be really strong for the first, like, good little bit of this game. We're definitely going to be stronger than what we were. They approve centralization, so that's good. Um, obviously, we're going to have to deal with factions a lot earlier now, but, you know, if we can get, like, prestige up pretty quickly, we should be able to, we should be fine, we shouldn't have to worry about much anything. Um, I actually sieged, like, the wrong province, which, it shouldn't matter, though, I mean, we should be fine regardless. Oh, nice. Proved religious relations with the guy there, I mean don't know why that even matters because 
me for being completely honest that isn't he the guy over that province or do I just not quite understand how that works I don't know alright so we're at 81 percent right now otherwise if she is I'm not worried about that we'll go ahead and take this and then we'll go to, uh, stop that guy right there oh wow all right, let's let's be uh let's be a little bit more productive with that. Let's send him to Roma. Let's well, I actually like the name. I actually like how the name changes from Rome to Roma, right there. Okay, so let's go ahead with that. Oh, and okay, we'll take this from him. That should be fine. Marshall is gone. That's that's okay though. No, we actually don't have any. It's he's the only vassal, I guess. Then, huh? Oh wow. Okay. Hmm. So let's see here. All right. So it looks like we're gonna have to do something I don't really want to do. I don't want to. I'm gonna have to end up. Uh, rough terrain. It's fine. Uh, I'm gonna end up having to borrow a bunch of money from the jury, which I hate doing this early. Like that's not something I really want to do. Go ahead and hire like a cheap mercenary band for like nothing, and then we'll win the war. Obviously, like it, it won't be anything, but it's a little bit more aggravating than what I would like it to be. Uh, okay, there we go. So that's the thing though, he has got a lot of troops though, and that's the that's the touch that's the, the little uh, aggravating part there. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh let's go ahead and siege this province right here. Take it back. I don't really feel like having to deal with that in a second. Okay, there we go. I guess the reason that it's not going down as fast because he's got a lot of troops still left. So let's go ahead and take care of all of them right now. At least a good chunk of them. Looks like my character must have died. Like my uh, my the son of this character must have died. So that's a little unfortunate because you know that. Well, I mean it might not be that bad because if this character lives long enough for the other one to become major, you know, of age, we we should be fine. Might as well just sit here and wait till we get troops up, so. There we go. Nice. I don't like how this like is taking as long as what it is though, because it seems like it's taking forever to like kill these guys, because this war is apparently I guess got a lot of troops in it and I don't really know how, but I guess I can't really complain a whole whole lot. Um, as of right now, the game's not starting off the best in the world, but it's not, like, you know, unwinnable yet, so. Let's head down here and take out these guys right now. I mean, we might as well. Okay, and that'll be the end of that. Definitely gonna go ahead and lower that, and lower that. Um... Let's see with this guy. Let's go to our prison. I, I know what he is, so let's see if we can't revoke any of his titles. Uh, let's see. Revocation laws. I don't think I actually have that yet. 74. Okay. So we got a little bit of time before we can actually do anything like that, but that's okay. When we do, we will definitely take full advantage of that. decline now. Don't want to have to deal with that right now. Uh, let's see what we have as far as that. We don't have anything. Let's see what we have as far as this. We have to have someone who's better. Uh, six, he doesn't like me, but now he does. So that's cool. Um, the game's going to get quite like easy from here. It should be fine. Alright, let's... Uh, let's see, light infantry definitely. Get light infantry because that's what we're using the most now, so. 
Oh, the Pope has died, so that's really no big deal as of right now, because we don't have to really worry about the Pope as much. Um, hmm. Making sure that we have enough. Let's see, what is this guy right now? 425. Could we actually declare war on this guy? We actually could. And he is feudal. See, he's got a ton of vassals. The total is like, what he's got is like 800 and something, but I'm sure he's got a heck of a lot more than that because of the fact that he's got so many vassals that he'll just all call them all to war, like immediately, and that'll be what happens. So, Court Chaplain has died. That's not good. Right. And he's actually a pretty good one too at that, so that's that's really nice. Definitely worth uh definitely worth getting him. Sure, go ahead, I don't care. Alright, so let's see, can we actually do that now? Let's see. Okay, sweet. Alright. So now what we do now is we go to this, we take this, and we revoke his title of High Chieftain. Uh, this will lower the Prince opinion of you by 60. Will not object. Cool. So now we have that and he doesn't have anything. So that makes life for us a whole lot easier because he's like pretty weak now he's only got one title his we have a lot of vassals now though because I think we get all of his vassals yeah we get all of his vassals so that's what happens there not very difficult for us because we, we pretty much we pretty much have our way now let me see our own factions we do have a faction which is fine, not really all that worried about that. Let's go ahead and take this right here. And we'll go ahead and call everyone up. There we go. We'll wait till it gets down a little bit more. Actually, we'll just wait since it's going down so fast. Alrighty. And there goes that right there. And then we'll just go ahead and call everyone back. And see, that's the only thing that I've noticed about um, Ireland is that, I mean, not Ireland, Scotland, is that Scotland has a lot of like people trying to revolt like right off the bat. And I find that to be a little annoying because... I mean, you have to do things like take money from the jury like really, really early, which is something I don't preferably like to do. But you kind of have to do it because if you don't, then you'll just lose right off the bat anyway, or you'll just like lose the whole kingdom altogether, and you don't want to do that like so early that it's not going to be worth anything then. Uh, let's just keep fighting them. I think that's probably the best option. Because if we don't, they'll just keep regrouping more troops and then it'll make it more difficult to kill them, to fight them off later. Alright, so... Right now we're pretty str right now we're pretty strong, we're, we're okay right now, I don't have to worry as much about anything. What I want to do is I want to make this a market village though, I don't want to... I need some gold income from somewhere. Even if it's not much, I just need some. Uh, unmarried heir. Let's see, he's 16 years old now. Got a lot of diplomacy, so that's really good. 
Princess of France. Yeah, I'll definitely take that. Everyone's thing here. Let's see if we can't form an alliance. He said no. That's fine. I don't care if we. It, he might. He might change his mind whenever my like I actually become that character when this one ends up dying. So we'll just we'll take what we can for right now. Nice, we improved re religious uh, um, relations with the Pope right now, or the guy in charge of the, uh, Rome, which either one is fine, that's good. Alright, so that's good, we go ahead and lowered that, so we're at 1500 troops, that is really good for us. We'll let both of them go for now, because, I mean, it doesn't really matter a whole lot at the moment because we have so many like like individual vassals that we don't have to worry as much about like dealing with them yeah this guy is gonna be a pain right here Let's go ahead and let's try and like uh it's gonna be king sweet. I might actually get an illegitimate out of that, which would make things a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and let's try and like We're gonna go ahead and try to take this guy out now. We're gonna try to get tributary just for like more money and stuff like that, so I wanna try to get like any kind of small advantage I can right now to make sure that I keep the power that I got. If I can do that, I'm I'll be okay because I have 213 gold now and I'm only losing 0.6 so relatively speaking we're doing pretty well burger application that's fine um it's actually really good 10 per month so or 10 per however long it is 12 days I keep saying month I've realized that over time I've never gotten better about that Okay, yeah, I'll actually legitimize her. Sweet, alright, so I made that guy a vassal, so that's really good. Become exalted among all men, so that's good as well. Do I have not have a, do I not have a a son anymore? Oh I do not. Let's see. Yeah, I have to have an heir. Okay, so I do have an heir. I'm about to say. Um, let's do this war chest for now. I don't have to worry about doing anything crazy at the moment. Um, use it. Okay, we're actually gonna let this guy go. Just go ahead and break the break that I don't really care how we can just go ahead and siege it again and be quick about it I know it's kinda like a scummy thing to do and probably not the smartest thing for me to do but it's actually like not bad because we can just go ahead and get an extra province now rather than wait later so I'm not I'm not bad I'm not really against this too much now my vassals probably aren't gonna like that as much they, well, they may they may not care too much doesn't look like it Truce breaker is just not a really good trait to have, <laughs> which I'm sure that goes without saying. But um, with truce breaker, kind of makes things a little bit more difficult, but not too too bad. This guy, he's only got like 300 and something troops, so we need to just let our troops kind of pile up a little bit while we're sitting here waiting. Why do we not have people that are for this? Okay, well. Oh, we lost all of our prestige when we did that, so yeah. Going to war with Northumbria is definitely a no-go now, so that's definitely fine. You don't have to do anything like that for now. Um, 237 gold is definitely good. We don't have to worry about really any kind of problems as far as that goes. Let's go ahead and let's keep upgrading this. We want to keep upgrading our hill forts. We don't want them to, like... We don't want to like lose that. We want to keep us. We want to be as strong as possible, even if like we have revolts and stuff like that. So that's why I, I, I like to upgrade the hill forts as much as possible now. 
which I'm sure like most people who play this game would definitely say that's a good idea to do that, but you never know. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take this now. Um, I'm not really like all that worried about this one. This one should be pretty easy. I don't see anybody going to war with us while we're going like while we're doing that. I don't see we have any revolts going on either. I think this is pretty free right here. Except okay, so sweet we get end up getting France and end up actually like accepting. I mean, end up asking us for an alliance, and that's because they're at war right now. So and that's the reason why. Uh, actually, we'll just go ahead and take it then. They're just, they're just gonna let me. Probably should have looked at that first, but I didn't. Okay, so second war against tyranny of king has ended in white peace. Okay, so he ended one in a white peace, and it looks like they are actually defending against uh, the Umiyads right now, which hmm. In my actual in my Ireland playthrough, I think they actually took the, all of Asturia, which was pretty odd. But you know, now they're actually doing something completely different. And like it's, the tables have turned. Now they're actually taking part of uh, Aquitaine, the kingdom of Aquitaine within Fran within Francia's kingdom. So, or within West Francia's kingdom. Okay, so sweet. We ended up getting all of those tribal, uh, all those hill forts made. So that's really helpful. Let's see what we actually have here. We have all of these right here, all the southern part. These are not ours. Okay, so we're good. Let's go ahead and let's... Well, that one's already actually up one. Someone actually went ahead and upgraded that for me. Much appreciation for that, whoever that was. Go ahead and name after myself. Overall, this is actually a pretty decent start. Let's see where we're at right now. Uh, Time-wise, we're doing okay. We're not we're not too far behind where I want to be. We're about we're getting about 15 years in, I think. So it's not too too bad. Marshall, go ahead and we'll do that. Okay, that's good. Let's see if we have anybody better for this. We do, and he actually is much happier with me. Um, spy master. Yeah, we don't have anybody, nobody for that. So we're good, pretty much around all around the board. Like, there's only one person that doesn't like me, and it's actually not that bad. So we can actually just keep on doing what we're doing, not worry about it. Now the thing is, now what I want to do, I want definitely want to get gold income up, because obviously we don't have a whole lot of that. So let's go ahead and get the market village here up. Now that one, I mean, obviously it's going to take me a little minute here, and the local tax modifier is going to be down until 84 because uh, it just being currently like taken. So that's my spy master gone. So there's one of the players that that was kind of like lower on his opinion of me, but I mean, obviously the next guy didn't really doesn't really care for me as much either. So that's fine right now. We're, we're okay. Do we have any kind of claims? I don't believe. Nothing that's, I mean, they don't have anything that's not just Azure claims. Okay. So we can just form an alliance now by bond, like by uh, arranging a marriage between my current heir and his one of his uh... oh no my daughter and one of his uh... sons so we're doing pretty good right now we're actually like looking pretty pretty solid okay so we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and declare war for this we're gonna ex ask this guy ask this guy and obviously do this as far as troops, we're really, really far above like the the curve where most of the time people are. Uh, we're gonna just acknowledge him as mine because we have we ha already have an heir and he's already kind of like up there in age, so we don't have to wait six. We don't have to hope this guy lives for sixteen years where we'll just have an heir already. Granted, that could kind of be a little bit sketchier, but you never know.
we will end up being okay. Oh, wow, it actually ended in white piece. That's actually really good for um, Francia. And there we go. We end up getting this. Let's see what this is right here. What is this? This actually is nothing. Okay, so sweet. We can actually upgrade that pretty quickly. So let's see here. Within like the first episode, we have actually expanded quite significantly. Go ahead and release him. Go ahead and get that. Go ahead and upgrade the hill fort for this. Then the next one, the next thing we'll do is we'll definitely get we'll get the uh, hill fort for one of these over here. Actually, no, we'll get the. Uh, let's see. Seventy-three. Yeah, let's just go ahead and upgrade another hill four to level two. Uh, I want to do that just because I want. I just really want like uh, more troops. I, I gold's good. I mean, gold's like you know great and everything, but I would much rather just have like the troops and just be done with it, rather than anything. But see, Saxon rebellion claim on the Saxony war. Okay. Okay, so yeah, he took Saxony, and that's what happened. He almost has enough for actually the empire, so that's uh, that's something that's going on right there. I uh, can't really do anything against this guy because he's probably got enough troops to just decimate me on the spot. So, uh, can't really do anything against this guy. Dublin is actually two provinces now, so that is something. They can actually form a uh, a duchy, and then they can start like growing soon. So that's something we might need to look out for. I doubt it because we we're already so far ahead of them. We don't probably have to worry about it too much. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade siege equipment, military organization. Use this. We'll actually go to war for this probably. Um, whenever we actually get enough gold, which should be just a second. So, all things considered. We'll just give it a second. I, I want to make sure that we actually get this though. All right, let's make sure we have enough gold positive here. Should be at one here in just a second, and there we go. All right, so we're gonna raise this. Go ahead, declare war, claim this, send this guy down here to this one. We can just pretty much call whoever we want. Honestly, I don't think it matters at this point. Because this guy's not gonna. I mean, there's he. We don't need that, that many people for this, but yeah. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and end this thing on out. I'm going to do a few more little tiny things. I'm gonna go ahead and declare this and make this uh, tributary right here. let them just go ahead and just take them guys for me I don't really care I don't really want to like kill his guys cuz I mean obviously we need them for that except that let them go ahead and go and then we'll go ahead and we'll make this guy a tributary and then that's where we'll end the episode because there's really nothing else that we need honestly we, we've already got everything we want I mean, this is a pretty easy, like, start to a playthrough. I gotta say, like, for a, any series I've done, this is by far one of the most just, like, absolutely just stompy ones I've ever done. Just, like, it's just that easy. Actually, we'll go for one more, because, you know, why not? I'm not in one, am I? Okay, I didn't think it was in anything, so that's good. And then Alright, sweet. And then we'll go ahead and accept this. 
and then we'll go ahead and we will probably just go ahead and yeah we'll, we'll, while we're done with that we'll just go ahead and we'll like lower this guy we'll like just set this guy out that was way way too easy I think <laughs> that was a little broken um if my character doesn't become feudal let me see this is uh my heir is he feudal no he's tribal so if he stays tribal and doesn't go feudal by the end of this we should be really really set um let me go ahead and ransom off I'm, I'm doing a little bit of like small things while we're waiting because we're not like in any big hurry to do anything uh, let me make sure we have anything here uh, oh nice that's actually really good <laughs> um let's go ahead and let's do this one we'll keep going we'll go down an even line because I like it being nice and organized there's no real reason to like start spreading it out or anything crazy like that because when we start doing that then problems will start happening and we don't need that um I think we have everything and I think that's it I think that is all that we need to do right now um there's really nothing over here that needs to be done uh, we'll go ahead and make a market village and I think that'll be it thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please drop a like in the section below if you want to see more in the future subscribe to my channel I have more videos out every day or so I'll have plenty of other series that you can watch and you can watch the process of me going through them watch me how I did all those different uh, playthroughs I have two Ireland's um, in East Africa West Africa a Polish um, or well, yeah one from Poland um, I believe that's it. I might have another one somewhere, but I'll have to go back and look. But yeah, you'll definitely see more um, different playthroughs of that on there. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please drop a like in the section below, like I said before. And if you want to see more in the future, please subscribe. Again, guys, thank you guys for watching. And I will see all of you next time. Bye bye